the BLK Water concept started about two years ago where we met our partners in Canada, Jackie and Louise, whose mom was sick. She was going through all kinds of, of health issues, and, and the women that were partnered with Jackie and Louise actually made this drink to help their mom just get nutrients back into her body. And the water is infused with something called fulvic minerals, and that basically gives it electrolytes, minerals, obviously, and a high pH, and it doesn't change the taste or the smell of the water, but it does change the color. It turns the water literally black. And then when we started actually drinking it and feeling what a difference it made for us day to day, especially in the gym, we were like, wow, this is something I think we could really get behind and, and run with. I know mom went down to grandma's and I guess Aunt Dina was there and, and they talked, which is a good thing. I know they were texting afterwards and where it goes, you know, it's, it's a weird situation for us to be in on a television show because people kind of look at that show and say, all right, here are the characters on a show, and they just assume we're involved in everybody's life. I mean, typically speaking, you know, the relationship that we would have with our mother's friends, you know, or how often we would talk to our aunts and uncles, it's not that often, you know what I mean? So that's not exactly too rare for us. But, um, you know, we still keep in contact with Lex a lot, and she's great, and so she's driving. And um, that's weird. scary. So really weird. And she's not like that dorky, weird, hippie look that she had on the first season of the show. Yeah. She's like absolutely stunning. She's like, she's a grown up now. She's kind of weird. Um, and we were always super tight with her. And Al said it the best, and I've always answered it the exact same way. If somebody says, what's your relationship with Teresa like now? I'll say, what's your relationship like with your mother's friend? Like, uh, there is none. I have my own friends with, this, with our own problems and our, our own drama. Trust me, it exists. But for me, it was a little bit different because I think when we first started hanging out, when the show first started, you were at the Brownstone a lot. Yeah. So I got to spend a lot of time with Joe and Teresa. Like, Teresa used to call me to say what's up. You know, Which lasts a really long time. <laughs> like, like, you know, want to introduce me to girls and stuff like that. And we had a really cool relationship. So it does bother me a little bit that everyone's, you know, in this different mind frame with each other. But at the same time, it's tough for me, too, because we have a front row seat to a lot of this stuff. And we see how it changes people. And we've seen how television especially can change somebody's personality. And, and it's tough for us because I think that we enjoy the the idea of just being authentic and being real people and not thinking that, oh, yeah, because I've got a bunch of Twitter, Twitter followers, I'm special for any reason. Like, we're still a really close family. On Saturday, and I mean, this Memorial Day, we'll probably end up in Franklin Lakes. I mean, we're not, you know, that's just where we want to be. So when I get close to somebody and for whatever reason they change and it's not like that anymore, it does bother me. Uh, but I think with, with Joe and Teresa, things ended up the way they ended up. And it's a shame because, you know, especially with the girls, it was a lot of fun hanging out with the girls. And there was a scene that we filmed um, this past season where it was it aired a, a little while ago with uh, the article about Joe Gorga, with Joe Judice had. And we babysat the girls for like, I don't know, they had a scene where we were watching them for like 45 minutes and we were playing these games and we were having a lot of fun. And like that is something that I miss a lot. You know, just hanging around them and, and all that stuff. But, you know, we'll see. Greg is a, uh, I think he just celebrated his one year anniversary with his boyfriend the last, this weekend or like last two, weekend. Two, three days ago. As far as the dynamic of living with a gay guy, like, you know, we hear a lot about stuff like that. And I'm like, how is that? It's like, it's, it's not, you know, like he also <laughs> likes ketchup and I don't. Like, like and we don't, that's never something that comes up. And like, we don't have these weird conversations. There's no awkward moments. It's all the same stuff. Some of the most fun scenes, I think, is when the three of us and Lauren are just kind of hanging around and they don't say, all right, like, here's a camera, just go for the next 30 minutes and we have fun. You know, and I think people like watching that. I think our relationship is great because it's who we want to live with. I mean, we didn't live with somebody that was living an alternate lifestyle than we were for people to say, oh, wow, that's really great what you guys are doing for the gay community at all. Like, sometimes I almost think that's just as ignorant as when people consider us, you know, when they say, oh, you're gay because you have a gay roommate. Because, you know, for us, it's who we want to live with, and that's how it should be. It shouldn't be, you know, I'm making a, a decision of living with somebody with an alternate lifestyle, and I hope I'm okay with it, and I have to adjust there was really no, there was no learning. For us. There was no learning process. I'm like, all right, well, before we do this, tell me about your culture. It's not a tribal thing. Well, no, thing. we've learned things. <laughs> so, we've but, definitely learned things. Right, we learn things about anything. <clears> like, just you know, he watches, you know, the <clears throat> Devil's Games now with us, and he'll watch, he got really into football. He got really into really football. Really into the Giants, and we watch Glee now. So, <laughs> like, you know, that was... We've definitely shared, it's like <laughs> it's like Thanksgiving. Like, we all sat down and, like, exchanged things. <laughs> he was watching the, re the Revenge finale the other day. And I'm in my room, and I'm watching, uh, I forget what I was watching, and all of a sudden I hear, oh my god, oh my god, I jump out of bed, run in there, and I go, what happened, what happened? I'm like, you know what, that was actually kind of weird, but I really wanted to know what happened. And apparently her mom's alive. 